Canadians know winter and most are very familiar with snowstorms, but a blizzard is in a category all on its own. To be called a blizzard, a snowstorm has to meet some very specific criteria set out by Environment and Climate Change Canada back in 2010. The great thing is they made it easy for us to remember by using the numbers 444. Let's start with the wind. You can barely see the hand in front of you for your face at times when the winds blow. Blizzards don't happen on a calm day. We're looking for sustained wind speeds at or above 40 kilometers an hour. The second four has to do with visibility. Not going anywhere is next to impossible in these conditions. You better have a good set of wipers and headlights on your car. Scratch that. You don't want to drive during a blizzard because the visibility is at or below 400 meters. That's the length of just four CFL fields. And finally, the last four has to do with the duration of the storm. Uh... I don't like this. This is uh, this is getting sketchy. Once we hit four hours, that's officially a blizzard. The exception is north of the tree line. We need to hit a minimum of six hours in the Arctic tundra because nothing is stopping storms that develop in this region. Surprisingly, temperature and the amount of fallen snow don't factor into it, although they could be part of the package. The most fundamental ingredient for the development of a blizzard is a healthy supply of Arctic air to the north. If your surface temperatures are at or below the freezing mark and you find yourself on the northwest side of this low pressure system, you're in the danger zone. Thankfully, blizzard warnings are incredibly rare for most major cities across Canada. But when they are issued, it's best to take them seriously.